Okay, it's Saturday and it's our first week back of training. So I'm going to take you along to a training session. Then I'm going to go back over the week's training that we've done. That's uh, three to four sessions and explain some of the things that we do and why we're doing them at this part of the season. So today's session is going to comprise of basic drills, acceleration runs, bounding and some tempo runs. You're going to see more of these drills later on in the video. We use them for balance, stability, technical positioning and so forth. After the basic drills, it was on to some running drills performed with the hands on the hips. These are great for posture and leg action. To run fast, you really need to get the feet in the right position when accelerating and then bring the heel through to the front of the body when getting to near top speed. Next up, it was a unit of plyometrics and at this stage of the season, we tend to concentrate on shorter distance plyos, bounds and more takeoff drill actions as these are slightly less intense than full on bounding for example. You'll see quite a few near straight leg versions. This one combines three straight leg hops with a swing forwards onto the other leg, a step for a further three hops. Continuing the triphasic theme of training that I'm implementing this year, we then followed up with some double footed jumps into an isometric eccentric held position. These were very tough. The idea is to spot the landing to control the eccentric movement, hold isometrically and then to power forward concentrically into another jump. All the group sessions contain some variation of concentric, isometric, eccentric and plyometric actions. So we finished the session with some tempo runs. These vary between three to six repetitions depending on the group member. The idea was not to develop lactic so that, or lactate, too much lactate, so that they were recovery orientated and not developing specific anaerobic fitness. What you don't want is to increasingly tire the body at this stage you want to remain fresh enough to train again. What you're going to see now is a bit of an amalgamation of the other three sessions that we did in the first week back. So as I've mentioned we do a lot of basic drills initially. I've got a lot of variations of these exercises from lunges to marching to foot strike drills for example. Agility exercises are also included within this section or segment of the session, working on lateral, backwards and held positions. The swinging free leg drill you're about to see next also requires the athlete to stabilise the landing. Therefore, you're developing hip power and eccentric capacity. These foot strike drills should aid takeoff positioning and sprint contact. Regular channel viewers will also know that skipping drills form a big part of my training program throughout the year. We'll even do skipping races in order to develop that greater foot speed and contact speed. A couple of the other sessions involved acceleration work over 10, 20 and 30 meter distances. For some, hands were placed on hips again. And a further variation requires the athlete to remove their hands from their hips and to sprint normally. As indicated, I find these great for the early season. Our second session back also featured these box plyometrics, where the idea is to keep the leg straight on contact on the box and on the track surface. The idea is to transfer from one contact to the other, keeping the hips high and not trying to generate too much power. The idea is to bounce. Here, mainly because we had an athlete and coach from Belgium, we did a little bit of work on the hop takeoff, which is a little bit earlier than I'd normally introduce such technical work. 
And here's some action from another one of our sessions where we run to a local road hill and do some acceleration runs and some longer, more speed endurance efforts. But as this was only the first session back, it was pretty easy. As you can see, we also do some drills up some steps on the road bridge. Back at the track, it was time for some Swiss ball exercises. These will feature various core, hamstring and balance movements. Twice a week for the majority of the group, we'll also do our eccentric, isometric weight training sessions. I've said quite a lot about these workouts in previous videos, so do refer to those. Having said that, we always include some aspect of plyometric training after our weight training. Hopefully we're going to get a boosting potentiating effect and transfer some of that power that's being developed in the weights room through the plyometric eccentric landing jumps into more specific and usable reactive force. Hopefully this overview of the training that we've done in the first week back of our training for 2018 will give you some ideas and some thoughts as to what you can include into your long triple jump and sprint training. Remember that a less is more approach is more likely to get positive results than one that features lots and lots of volume. Always be specific. Work on speed, technique, reactivity and power. As usual, good luck with your training and competitions and do subscribe to the channel and leave any comments you may have below in the section or through my other social media.